So this is a board detailing the digestive system or the gastrointestinal system or the alimentary canal. When we take food in, we come in through our oral cavity, down the esophagus, our epiglottis folds over, directing food and liquid to the posterior side of our throat. As we come down here, down the esophagus, we then come to the stomach. From the stomach, which kind of acts as a holding tank, we go into the small intestine. The small intestine passes all the way through, eventually to the large intestine or the colon, and then eventually out. So when we detail some of this, we come across the oral cavity, down the esophagus. The esophagus is largely divided into three parts. Superior part is mainly skeletal muscle, the inferior part, mainly smooth muscle. The middle third is usually a blend of skeletal and, mood, skeletal and smooth muscle. We come down here to the stomach. We have the esophageal sphincter or the cardiac sphincter that leads into the stomach. There's the fundus, the body, and the pylorus, which leads into the pyloric sphincter or the duodenal sphincter. From there, we go into the small intestine. So the small intestine, you can remember it as DJI, or don't jump in. Sometimes you'll hear duodenum, sometimes you'll hear duodenum for the first part. Either one is fine. From the duodenum, which is not terribly long, we lead into the jejunum, then eventually to the ileum. Then the ileum leads in into the large intestine at the ileocecal sphincter. The large intestine, we start off with the cecum, and we have an ascending, transverse, descending, and sigmoid colon. At the ascending colon, when we go from ascending to transverse, this region right here is called the hepatic flexure. Hepato because the liver sits here. From here we go to the splenic flexure, then event because the spleen is here, then eventually down to the rectum, the anus, and then out. So ascending, transverse, descending, sigmoid colon, rectum, anus, we have our anal sphincter muscles, internal muscles are smooth, external muscles are skeletal, and then eventually leading out as waste product.